This is what we're going to draw. You're going to need a pencil and a pen and an eraser. This is a really quite complicated thing to draw, so I'm going to pencil this out and then ink it in and then erase all the pencil lines later. So I'm drawing this kind of pa it's not a parallelogram at all, it's just a it's actually a trapezoid, I think. And then we're going to make it a bit 3D like this. So it's turning it into a box. So we can build on this as a box. First of all, we're going to draw kind of a circle around about there. And we'll need another circle around about there. And then here we're going to have, this is the starter handle. We're going to extend the front out a little bit and build another little box on the front. This is all about building boxes. So many things, particularly man-made things, are um, made out of boxes. It's good to learn how to draw them. Here we're going to draw a curve going around like that. And imagine that's coming through there on the other side. So that's roughly where they will want to go up. And it will be sort of curving like that at the bottom, like a hockey stick, really. That will go up to the top and across. So everything here will be parallel in that direction. And we'll want that going sort of up like that so we can bring these. This is a um, that sort of hand guard thing at the front. Now this is where it gets a little bit complicated again. So we'd have a, a small piece like that going backwards and then following this angle here that will sort of disappear underneath. And we're going to have like a, a tube coming out from underneath here, which is going to come out at this angle and it's going to curve around and it's going to come up and it's going to curve around and then it will sort of curve back at a funny angle like that behind this thing. So we're not going to draw the whole of it. Then it will come around. So this is the main handle at the front that you're holding as you're sawing through your piece of through your logs and your trees and whatever. Now here we're going to build another <laughs> bit going up like that to about there and across to the back. And then that's going to come Actually, that one's, let's bring it forward a little bit like that. So it's going to come up like that and across to the back. And it's going to come down and join there. Then this is going to be the basis of the bottom of the handle. The handle's going to come down at an angle like that. And then that's, this is the part where you actually hold it. And as you would have a shallower angle. So, so you'll see it's something like that coming in underneath like that. The actual blade will then be coming out here. So let's sort of have a curve there and then we actually want a slight curve that way and a slight curve going up and under like that. Actually let's bring it out there a little bit further and then we're going to want the sort of teeth at the front. <laughs> I think it's for kind of snapping bits off if you get into trouble. If you stayed this far you obviously like drawing so make sure you subscribe to draw stuff real easy. Click the button now. We move this over to the center and now we can draw in ink. Now I'm going to start here and I'm going to come up. I'm going to go across to there and down. And I'm going to come up there again like that. So we've got a kind of a thickness to this thing, which is going to come up there like that and around. <laughs> it's a bit complicated, isn't it? There we go. And that will then come down to about there. So then we can build these sort of guard sections like that across and then we're going to want to make them a little bit 3D by doing that and then that will come down behind. So then we can bring this here. So all this is moldy plastic a lot of this so we want to actually smooth out all these um, these sharp corners like that and that will then sort of come down like that probably like I will see that coming across there. Maybe a line there. So then we can draw this tube, which is sort of in front of everything. It's quite good to think, you know, what's in front of other things. So you draw the, those bits first, the bits that are at the front. And then we kind of come down like that and around and into the bottom of that tube section. Here we can sort of suggest these um, Sort of corner lines without actually having to draw them and make them too harsh. I'm going to make that not quite so high at the back there. 
Uh, this is all the sort of center with the engine and bit and things. And we're going to have air cooling ducts along the side there. And you've also got the kind of the spring section for this um, this handle on the side, which is you know where you that the pull toggle kind of thing, which is going to be sticking out there. You've probably got a a sticker on there telling you the make and model number and don't use this petrol and use that petrol and things like that. So this is obviously a, a petrol model, and I suppose they're going to be banned eventually, aren't they? With global warming, um, and then I'll have to draw an electric model. So we bring the handle back to their curve though, curve all these sort of sharp corners like that. That will come down sort of to there and then that's going to come up and into there like that. Then we're going to have these <laughs> branch breakers. I think that's what they are. I don't know. I'm not a, <laughs> I'm not a chainsaw expert. And then we're going to want to have this coming around like that. So then put another sort of curve all the way around the outside of it like that. So that's the actual chain which we'll do just by putting little lines in it there. Uh, so the chain goes zooming around and then we're going to want a little bit of thickness there as well. And then you've got this little well the saw bits like that but they're not it's not ink, 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 like a saw you get them sort of every sort of few chains so it's not um yeah so that they're, they're kind of separated and spread out a bit like that uh, we'll have a little circle there and uh, the name and at this point when you're absolutely sure that the ink is dry you can erase all those pencil lines and no one will ever know how you were so accurate at sort of working it all out and i'm going to put some shading in underneath there like that and maybe a bit of shading underneath there too and this tube needs some shading so i'm going to do this these kind of curves oh i forgot now what we should have is this tube going kind of backwards like that on the other side so we can put some shading in behind there it's just kind of complicated isn't it there we are and we put some shading in around there and we want some coming all the way up so these are just mm, just a little bit longer than dots and they'll just come up the side like that to help make this sort of look like it's sort of plastic or something we can put a mold line down the middle like that so, and that also helps with the kind of whole shape of the whole thing. Um, here, put a circle with a little semicircle thing there, and then that will be probably where you put your petrol, that kind of thing. Um, I think we can have some more um, ventilation things going on. Let's have some vertical ventilation going on in there, and it all sort of adds to the feel of the thing. And then we want to have sort of screw holes where the whole thing's being screwed together like that and the handle will be quite sort of held together a lot a little bit of shading down there that's going to help and then also we want a kind of a molding line up the middle there too don't we so there we go i think basically that is your uh, <laughs> Let's put a little bit of shading in on those sections there. And there you go. How to draw a chainsaw. Real easy. Make sure you are subscribed to Draw Stuff Real Easy and do ring that little bell for notifications so you know about all the videos I make every week. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.